All right. Sorry for the fan noise, but sort of can't help it. There's fans everywhere. What do we got here? One, two, three, four, five, six. We've already started, as you can see. The question of the day. How much precious metals can be recovered out of six laptops? Because that's what we got. Old school laptops, too. We're going to dig in. We'll put a top. We're just going to rip them apart. We're not going to try to do anything fancy. Just going to rip them apart. Rip the boards out. Rip the chips out. We'll sort and separate. Six laptops. What can you get out of them? As far as precious metals. Not just gold. But platinum, palladium, silver. We're going to set this thing up on sort of a time lapse to show us, you know, turn these things apart in a few hood. Might as well. You can keep everything sorted and separated and what have you. Okay. All right, as you can see, we got we have quite a bit of this junk. There's a box over here. That junk we'll go into. There's nothing here. You can, you can get crazy and try to get way down into the these little circuit boards. But we're not going to do it. Batteries. We need to dispose of these correctly. Uh, where I work, I can dispose of these. We separate it out. CD ROM. Now. This may be worth going through later on. A little hard drive, of course. We have a separate box over here. We're going to put stuff in like this. A RAM. Now, really interested here is these processor pieces of the that we have in here. I, ah, you want to get the stuff on you if you can help it. The go corners. Okay, let me get this screwy. Big screwdriver takes care of a lot of problems. Is this it's trash? We got a couple of flat packs. Or oh, excuse me, PTAs. Well, we'll go through that, but that's, that's good news right there. Set these aside. What we call our primary. That's it. We just decimated, I think, pretty much that first laptop. These screens, I've heard that there's precious metals in these screens itself. I don't, I don't know if that's true or not. I don't give a crap, so we're moving on. Old school, old school bus chips. Not bad, not bad at all for that one. That's one laptop down decimated in, I don't know, four or five minutes. Alright, enjoy. We're going to continue on turning these apart. So it might have been. All right, wow. Okay. 
Now we're in a good scrap pile. Tracy Lee loves Jesse J. That's what's written on the bottom. Hill Billy right there. I love it. Starting to get a little pile. Pile of uh, good stuff here, more material. We'll do one more tonight, then we'll continue it tomorrow. Yes, I am pro law enforcement. The old Kentucky Beef Enforcement logo, hey, they don't exist anymore. Okay, we're back for day two of the uh, laptop. Precious metal recovery, we tore apart three yesterday. That took us about an hour. You know, not bad. Not too good, but not bad. These are low to mid grade ships. Might be a mid grade one, mid grade in there. Plus, you know, ram sticks. I'll be GA so far. So far. Well, there it is. There's what we'll call our high grades. Which is really not. You know. Got a few IC, got a few ICs. Good. We have a pile of boards that small boards that have visible gold on them. Okay, which is uh decent. We have a pile of motherboards, which is gold, silver, palladium. Okay, we'll process for that. All right, we're gonna tear it out. We're only gonna put the uh, the chips, not the RAM. Only the ICs. So bear with me. I pick through this. So out of six laptops, you know what have we harvested? What's the weight? We got eight eighty four. 0.22 grams worth of IC chips. Okay. A pile of RAM here. You know, you're not going to get a big yield of BGA chips as far as weight. Alright. I don't know how good that lighting is. There's one of our boards. We'll show you how I extract and get all the components off these boards. Now, I'm going to try to film this. I don't know how the heck I'm going to pull it off, but We'll be right back. I'm going to show you how to use this and this to retrieve more uh, precious metal components. We'll be back. All right, what you want to get is a tote of some sort. I usually have them angled like this. So for demonstration purposes, I'll keep it this way. Take an air hammer with a flat, oh yeah, what you call that, tool attachment. Okay, and uh, see we've already knocked a few off right here, just practicing. Then we got this flat pack off. So now you just hold it firmly. Cleans it off, strips it clean. That's it. That's all you got to do. These big chips right here, let's see. Thank you. How about chip? Look at that. Stripped clean. Look at all that good stuff sorted out. 
to its proper size, classification I should say. And uh, we'll show you here in a second how we do that. Alright, very simple. It's amazing. That's all that came off of that one motherboard. Okay, that's it. We figured there'd be a lot more. We don't have the vibrator hooked up, but... Oh, empty. And just agitate it. Down below, you have your, your capacitors, resistors, and some, and some chips. So we're going to further process this, and we'll, uh, we'll show you what we got. All right. All we have is dirt. That's it. Just gummy dirt. Coarse, mid, fine. That's it. Flower sifter, colander, and an old beef jerky rack. Okay. You can very easily spend two or three hundred dollars buying sieves or sieves or whatever. But it does the job. So you got your dirt out. Sorry for the lighting, but pile of dirt, tin, solder balls. They got our bigs, chips, our mids, chips capacitors, mostly. And your small boom, chips capacitors resistors. So not at all too bad. Okay. Probably two and a half hours straight work. Six laptops scrapped. These is only the E scrap. Okay. That's a pretty good little load, actually. Now how much precious metals are in? You know, ah, uh, this batch? Well, it's hard to say. Not much. Probably not much. You might get a little bit out of that batch of chips. We still have those raw boards. 90% depopulated, each one of them. No sorting has been going through for copper parts. It stays as is. That's just uh, mid-grade parts. It appears to be gold plate. This appears to be a gold foil. Visible gold. There's a few BGA chips. And a lot of BGA chips. And there's a couple of flat packers in there. We're going to see, and I'm chewing this chewing gum to apologize for that, but it is what it is. Let's see what we get on sleaze bag. You may get twice as much for it than the precious metals that's in it. You know, it's about making money. It's about scrapping and e-scrapping and making money. Not necessarily how much, how much precious metals can you get. If that was the case, then we would just process it and ride. And we may still do it. All right, that's six laptops. That's not a bad haul. I figured it would be more. That is useful, you know, e-scrap for precious metals. Because that's what people want. All right, that's what we got. Check it out on eBay. We'll have a part two, and we'll track its progress. Bye now.